Welcome to this tutorial where we're going to talk about the GoodNotes toolbar. First, we're going to examine the pen tool. Within GoodNotes, there are three different options. The fountain pen, the ballpoint pen, which I use mostly for writing, And lastly, we have the brush pen, which I use a lot for my sketch notes and other drawings within GoodNotes. The next tool that we have is the eraser tool, which also has three options. The precision eraser, we have the standard eraser, and you can also choose the object eraser. Within the eraser tool, you can also have the option to erase only highlighter. This will come in handy when you want to erase only the highlighted sections within your planning or note taking. With this option, you can erase the highlighter with whichever eraser tool you want to use. So with the precision eraser, for example, you can erase very precisely. And you also have the option to clear the entire page within the eraser tool. You can also clear the page when you open up the menu under these three dots if you want. With the highlighter tool you can of course highlight your text and you can also have the option to draw in straight lines. If you toggle on the option draw in straight line, your highlighting will snap into a straight line like this. With the option toggle off, you can draw however you want like this. Next we have the shapes tool. This is a tool where your drawings will snap into a shape. You can also draw irregular shapes and it'll correct the shapes a bit and snap into place. With the shapes tool you also have the option to fill a shape and if you want to get rid of the fill you can just choose the eraser and tap inside the fill. Next we have the text box which allows you to write type text. You can also copy, delete and edit your text. If you click the edit option, you have a variety of tools that you can use. For example, you can choose spacing, size or background color. Within the color section, you can pick a color either from the grid or the color wheel to choose a color. And you can also choose the font that you like and adjust the size as well. If you're pleased with the settings, you can also save it as a default by tapping the text box icon. The lasso tool is a great tool if you want to organize your content within the page. If you tap within the lasso area, you have a whole menu of options. A helpful feature is the convert to text option. Draw a lasso around the handwriting that you want to convert. And there you have it. You can save it or you can copy it and long press to paste it onto the page. Now you can write whatever you want and it'll convert your handwritten text to typed text. You also have a lot of toggle options within the lasso tool. For example, you can choose to move the image or if you just want to remove the handwritten text, you can also do the opposite. And you can also choose to toggle off the handwritten text and move the image instead. When you toggle off the text box option, it works the same way.
toggle it off and it won't move and if you toggle it on you can move the text The great thing about the lasso tool is that you don't have to lasso everything to move an image or an object. You have to be quite careful with where you're drawing your lasso in order to move one object. You can just choose a small area of the image to move it. The image tool is a great way to have fun in your planning and note taking. When you click the image, you have the option to crop the image, share it, or add it to the element section, which we will talk about later in this tutorial. For now, let's crop it. Just tap crop and then you can crop the image as you want. Let's try with another image to crop with the freehand option. Tap crop and choose freehand to crop with the freehand tool. When you have images with the transparent background, it's a great way to be able to crop off excess background so that it won't follow along if you want to lasso and move another object. The elements tool is one of my favorite features within GoodNotes as it allows me to be super creative with my planning. In there you have a library of images, stickers and other elements that you can use in your planning and note taking. This is an image that I made in Apple Notes and imported into the Elements tool. You can use the elements just like the images and you can also add collections to your elements library, which is a great way for you to organize your stickers, images and other elements that you want to use within your GoodNotes planning and note taking. Here I have a collection of sticky notes and it's super handy to have quick access to these for my planning. If you want to resize an image you can do that with the lasso tool. But if you want to stretch it out or crop it you need to go and tap the image tool to be able to do that. If you long press a collection icon, you can also get a menu where you can edit, share or delete the collection. From here you can delete specific elements or add elements from your image library or from your file section. Here I took a screenshot that I want to add to my elements. Let's click the image and then tap add element. Now you can choose where you want your image to be in your elements library. And as you can see when we search for the element, it's right here. When you want to create a new elements collection, swipe to the left and there you have a plus sign where you can add a new collection. Name your new collection and choose the images that you want to add. Hit create and there you go. Your collection is now saved in your elements library. You can use your elements for all kinds of purposes. Here I'm creating a to-do list with a sticker from my vintage sticker set and a sticky note from my planner sticky notes collection. I love to work with these since they are so easy to customize and they have a minimal anti-distracting design that I like. I'll just grab the sticky note and I can write on it to plan out my to-do list, organize my, organize my tasks or just add an extra highlighted area to my planner. The laser pointer or cursor 
is another useful tool within the toolbar if you want to do a presentation. When you use it, it'll leave a temporary mark on your GoodNotes document so that your audience can easily see where you are on the page. Okay, so let's make a screen recording so that I can show you how it works when it's in presentation mode. So let's draw some things here, draw some arrows and I'll see how it looks in the presentation mode. And here you have the presentation mode. As you can see, you can clearly follow along where I've been drawing. The magnifying glass is another cool feature within the GoodNotes app. You can magnify a section of your document if you want to write neat and detailed notes or fill out finer details in a drawing, for example. As you can see, the text is mirrored and you can move the magnifying glass around to get the exact spot you want. The color section is another great feature within the toolbar. When you draw with your pen or highlighter, choose a color you want by picking from the color wheel or from the grid. You can also save colors as preset colors. You can see that I've chosen different colors for my highlighter than for my pen because I want more colors in the highlighter section. You can also customize the size of your pen and highlighter so that you have three different sizes of pens at all time. And the eraser has three sizes. Within the pen section, you can also find the draw and hold feature, which will come in handy if you want to draw perfect lines. Just draw the line you want and hold it for a second and it'll snap into a more perfect shape. The highlighter tool is also really fun to draw with, so you can use it for more than just highlighting text. It almost works like an alcohol-based marker, and since it's transparent, you can draw in layers and experiment with coloring and creating your own art. You can also save what you have drawn to your elements library. This will come in handy if you want to have a set of preset highlighting sections like brush strokes, etc. Okay, that's all that I had for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.